Hello, dear e-lovers. Uh, welcome to the Baby Assassin's Everyday Review. And I didn't really feel like my usual setup. And I did some stuff to my wall that you will see in a few videos. So I just thought, why not just stand in the middle of my room, uh, fix the camera to my bed and uh, show you my beautiful air conditioner for this one occasion and just be a floating head more or less. It's a kind of a different thing. Here we can dance, we can do stuff, so that's, that's not so bad. It's a little bit too high, but yeah, it's gonna work for today. Don't you see? extra microphone and stuff, so it's, it will be fine for one time. Yeah, don't really, like, had to work late because some co-worker felt the need to go to a Halloween party, I guess. So I had to work on my day off and, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm sleepy, tired, and I don't want to fix the mess I did to my wall. So that's what we have right now. We have an air conditioner and uh, this here. And maybe I should just show it to you all the time and dance a little bit. And, and it's it's a bearable, I guess. But there's a little a little sound. I don't know if you want that. Anyway, so. Um, yeah, the new episode, it's episode 9, I guess, and we're in the uh, job rotation arc of the story, so there's a lot of rotating, and uh, maybe I should rotate, no, I shouldn't rotate, um, anyway, so job rotation arc, so these two finally get into their new jobs, um, inside the professional killer agency, so, uh, Shisato here um, has a nice office job where everyone is very friendly and they eat a delicious sushi freshly made from a sushi chef and stuff like that and has the time of her life while uh, Mahiro here is uh, yeah she's helping a guy uh, Mr. Hino I think his first name is uh, Akira um, played by uh, Tokyo Emoto and he's the, the purge dude, so he's killing inside the organization, basically. And she's there to help him uh, purge, and that's what they do. And that's what this episode is mostly about. So it's a little bit uh, Mahiro-focused episode. That I appreciate that very much. And um, yeah, basically they kill, and she's uh, having uh, she has a, a baby stroller with a fake arm and a real arm, so she can put the gun out from the middle like she's the main character of Doom, who has a central arm, not a right and left arm, just a central arm, right? And, uh, yeah, so they catch dudes and give them poison to kill them, and Mr. Hino uh, tests her a lot, and, uh, yeah, she doesn't have the most enjoyable life, but sometimes he asks, hey, are you ready to quit? Do you feel like quitting? She like, no, no, this is all I can do, this is totally fine. But yeah, she's tired and she doesn't really feel like playing video games and doesn't really feel uh, is sad that she can't play with uh, Karbika and all these things. So it's not the happiest life she has. And then she gets pictures from Chisato where she's eating delicious sushi and all these things. So a little bit maybe jealousy here. But Chisato uh, comes back, brings her bread and they have a little discussion about their favorite bread and all these things. So they uh, act even more like an old couple who uh, can't see each other all the time because now they're working separately and have to yeah, just meet in the evening and share whatever is left of their happiness. So it's just bread because bread is amazing. Um, I'm very sad in Japan because of bread because usually bread in Japan is not exactly what me, a uh, German, uh, prefers to eat. Um, they don't understand real bread here. I'm very sorry, but uh, yeah, still good, still good. Anyway, so we have this story arc where she helps and she gets a little bit tricked and tested and it's all a little bit uh, a pain in the neck. Not, not down there in the neck. We don't want to say the bad words here. And um, 
yeah, then we get some scenes with Chisato in the office, and this glorious great job suddenly turns into a little bit of a pain as well, because she's not as good as she's supposed to be, because she's not an office worker, she's a killer, and uh, now she has to talk on the phone and be like, oh, yay, no, and uh, she's not really good at that, so one of her co-workers at some point freaks out and gives her a bulletproof vest and puts the gun like point blank and I knew you better try harder. So that's really, really nice and funny. So I think overall this is one of the better episodes, one of the best episodes. I would say it's a lot of fun. We get a little bit action, a little bit killing, a little bit here, a little joke, a little bit of the uh, family life together a little bit of the casual daily life dialogue. And that's all very nice and very good. Uh, it's directed by Kudo Wataru. Not the other Wataru, there are two Watarus. It's so confusing. This is the, the other one. Um, and yeah, it's a very good episode. It's uh, very interesting how they suddenly, in the post credit scene, move into the actual main plot, then now a big spoiler coming, um, Mahiro meets her actual boss, like the guy who always gives them their missions and talks to them, and he's like, um, what do you think, are you able to kill him? So now we have the actual mission to purge the purger, and uh, there's a lot of purging going to come, I guess, and uh, yeah, that's very nice. So. It seems a little bit like this job rotation is just a disguise for a real job. So uh, let's see if uh, Chisato is actually going to kill some of her co-workers as well. So maybe they are now like the purgers. I, I have no idea. It's really cool. It's really fun. It's very entertaining. It's very cool. I, I love uh, Tokyo Emoto in his role as a like really, really weird, uh, blonde, um, yeah, just killer who poisons people instead of just, hmm. but we get some fighting as well and some shooting, so it's, it's good, it's good. Um, yeah, so it's, it's overall a really, really nice episode. I like this element of separating them, uh, putting them in completely different um, uh, what is it called? Environments, like, seemingly Chisato has a nicer job, which, turns, which suddenly turns out that people there aren't that nice. Um, it's all pretty much facade and fake, and uh, if you don't function like you're supposed to, you're gonna get killed, or at least someone is threatening you. Yeah, is threatening yeah, you. It's a correct sentence, actually. And, um, yeah, how that twists around is very nice. And this whole thing with uh, Mahido should be troubled and should be like, oh, my life is so hard and bad. But she's actually quite okay with it because she can actually do what she is used to and not like she sort of suddenly has to work in a in an office and talk to customers and be friendly and can't just uh, wreck people like she dreams of here again. And uh, yeah, it's just overall really, really good. And yeah, now we have the proper plan that we have an opponent, this is this uh, Hino Perger dude, and we have a uh, yeah, stuff going on. We still need to find out what's going on with uh, Chisato's job. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if the next episode is maybe a little bit more Chisato-focused, would be fair. Um, yeah, this whole, like, how their relationship plays out is really nice. And, uh, yeah, just overall really good. I could complain about the colors because the colors are bad as usual. And I, I made uh, something... Yeah, yeah, we'll see someday. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about this episode. It's really nice, really good. It's a good combination of everything. Super compressed, super dense. Uh, there's so much going on that um, is, uh, yeah, just it fl time flies and uh, it's wonderful. And 
that's all I can say then. Uh, let's see what comes next time. We have three more episodes left, so we probably will have to get to the big climax. I would say overall this arc seems to me much more interesting than the first one. Um, I mean, the first one was fine, but yeah, we had this, this small group of uh, three people who help them and this guy who hired them and the big boss and they were all like a little bit too wacky to just there, I guess. And here we have this completely crazy group in the office and we have this weirdo um, purger guy and um, but they are all closer to what I would guess this actual um, assassin's agency is like. So yeah, I, I think this whole setting makes more sense to me, feels more yeah, sensical and uh, better, interesting. We have a, a more interesting villain, not just this old guy who hates uh, social media. Um, we have now a guy who uh, small towers of stones uh, no it's it's all very very cool I'm very happy how it turned out so far and let's see last three episodes and uh, yeah thank you very much uh, see you soon and then with the um, used setting I, I record some other videos that will follow after this and that still have that and I did some stuff that I don't want to talk about now you will see and uh, yeah I, I guess because of the slide up here my eyes are all the time like really, really dark and uh, yeah. <sighs> anyway, I, I hope this was bearable and my woo, was bearable too. If not, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, thank you very much. See you.